Could we be on the brink of a new era where the human brain and technology become one? Imagine a world where your thoughts alone can control your devices, where the line between human intent and digital response is seamlessly interconnected. Welcome to the concept of enhanced brain-computer integration. In the heart of this technological revolution is Neuralink, a company founded by the visionary Elon Musk. Neuralink is not just a company, but a pioneer, a beacon leading us towards a future where humans and artificial intelligence coalesce. Their mission? To redefine the boundaries of human capabilities. Neuralink is working towards creating a high bandwidth connection between the brain and digital intelligence. The company aims to allow individuals to wirelessly connect their brains to devices like phones and computers. Imagine sending a text message or typing an email, not by tapping on a screen or keyboard, but simply by thinking about it. This breakthrough technology has the potential to revolutionize the lives of individuals with quadriplegia or ALS, offering them a new way to interact with the world. The telepathy implant, Neuralink's brainchild, is designed to interpret neural activity for controlling devices through intention alone. The telepathy implant is a marvel of engineering, featuring 1,024 electrodes distributed across 64 threads. The implant, which requires a surgical procedure, allows for the wireless transmission of brain signals to decode movement intention. But Neuralink's ambitions extend beyond immediate practical applications. The company's long-term goal is to merge humans with artificial intelligence, to keep pace with AI advancements, and address the potential risks associated with artificial intelligence surpassing human capabilities. As we delve into the future, the lines between human capabilities and technological advancements may begin to blur. Neuralink is at the forefront of this exciting new frontier, pushing the boundaries of what it means to be human in a technologically driven world. The integration of our brains with computers is no longer a question of if, but when. And with Neuralink leading the way, that when might be sooner than we think. Before we continue, don't forget to smash that like button if you enjoyed the video. It really helps out and shows us what content you love. Also hit subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss our next awesome video. We love hearing from you, so drop a comment below to share your thoughts or any topics you'd love to see in future videos. Imagine a world where paralysis doesn't limit one's ability to interact with technology. This is the vision that's driving the groundbreaking prime study conducted by Neuralink, a brain chip company founded by Musk. The prime study focuses on the precise, robotically implantable brain computer interface, or BCI for short. This is not just a piece of technology, it's a beacon of hope for a specific demographic, individuals with quadriplegia or ALS. These are people whose lives have been drastically altered by their conditions, but Neuralink aims to redefine their capabilities. The BCI is a fully implantable wireless device. It might sound like something out of a sci-fi movie, but this is real, cutting-edge technology. With 1,024 electrodes distributed across 64 threads, the device is designed to interpret neural activity. In essence, it's a translator, decoding the language of the brain and turning it into digital signals. But what does this mean for the individuals with the implant? Well, it's about control. The BCI is designed to enable paralyzed individuals to control external devices using their thoughts alone. Imagine being able to send a text message, browse the internet, or even play a video game, all without lifting a finger. The study involves the use of the R1 robot to surgically place the N1 implant's threads in the brain, enabling the wireless transmission of brain signals. The ultimate goal is to empower individuals to control a computer cursor or keyboard through thoughts alone. It's about giving people back their independence, their freedom. The PRIME study is conducted under an investigational device exemption from the FDA and has already begun recruiting participants. This is not a distant dream, it's a reality that's unfolding right before our eyes. This could open a new world of possibilities for those living with paralysis. It's a testament to human ingenuity and the relentless pursuit of technology that improves lives. It's a journey that's just beginning, and we can't wait to see where it leads. What if your brain could directly communicate with your smartphone or laptop? Sounds like a science fiction, right? But that's precisely what Neuralink is aiming to achieve with its revolutionary brain implant, telepathy. Now, let's delve into the nuts and bolts of telepathy. Imagine a city with a thousand buildings, each building representing a neuron in your brain. Now, picture 64 superhighways crisscrossing this city, each carrying 16 lanes of traffic. 
These are the 64 threads of the Neuralink implant, each thread housing 16 electrodes, totaling to a staggering 1,024 electrodes. Each electrode, like a traffic sensor, picks up the neural activity or traffic in the city of neurons. The electrodes capture the signals from neurons, the brain's cellular building blocks. These signals are like the city's chatter, each neuron firing electrical pulses to communicate. The telepathy implant listens to this chatter, interpreting the intended actions from the electrical orchestra performed by the neurons. But what does this mean for you? Well, think of how you currently interact with your devices. You think of a command, your brain sends signals to your muscles, and you type or swipe. Now, imagine skipping the physical part. You think it, and it happens. The Neuralink implant translates your intentions into actions, allowing you to control devices through thought alone. This is not about reading minds or peering into your private thoughts. It's about interpreting the specific neural patterns that correspond to physical actions. For instance, the neural signals you produce when you intend to move your hand to click a mouse are what the implant picks up and translates. In essence, this technology could turn thoughts into action. It's a leap towards a future where the line between our brains and our devices becomes increasingly blurred, redefining the boundaries of human capability in the digital age. It's a future where we might not just use technology, but become intimately intertwined with it. Imagine the possibilities, but as with any groundbreaking technology, there are always concerns and controversies. A major point of contention lies in Neuralink's research practices. Allegations of animal mistreatment have emerged, casting a shadow over the company's noble aspirations. It's important to remember that innovation should never come at the cost of ethical considerations, and it's crucial for Neuralink to address these allegations with transparency and accountability. Beyond the controversies, there are deeper ethical questions surrounding the integration of technology with the human brain. The concept of merging our minds with machines may sound like science fiction, but it's fast becoming a reality. And with this reality come profound questions about our identity, autonomy and what it means to be human in an increasingly digital world. There are also concerns about the invasive nature of Neuralink's brain implants. The implantation process requires drilling into the skull to insert over a thousand electrodes. This invasive procedure is not without risks, and it raises valid questions about the balance between potential benefits and potential harm. It's also crucial to consider the broader societal implications of this technology. If successful, Neuralink's implants could redefine human capability, but who will have access to these enhancements? Could we see a divide between those who are upgraded and those who aren't? These are questions that we as a society must grapple with as we venture further into this brave new world of brain-computer integration. But it's not all doom and gloom. Other companies, like Synchron, are exploring less invasive methods for brain-computer interfaces. This suggests that the field is ripe for innovation and there's room for a variety of approaches that balance technological advancement with ethical considerations. While the road to merging humans with artificial intelligence is fraught with challenges and controversies, it's also filled with immense potential. We're standing on the threshold of a new era where we could redefine what it means to be human and expand the boundaries of our capabilities. The path to progress is rarely without bumps and turns. So, where does this lead us? What could the future hold for Neuralink and brain-computer integration? As we delve deeper into the 21st century, the line between science fiction and reality continues to blur. The long-term vision of Neuralink is not just about assisting individuals with paralysis, but rather it's about merging humans with artificial intelligence. Elon Musk's grand plan involves achieving a high bandwidth connection between the brain and digital intelligence. This is driven by the desire to keep pace with the rapid advancements in AI and mitigate the potential risks associated with artificial intelligence surpassing human capabilities. However, it's essential to remember that every leap forward comes with its own set of challenges. As we integrate more technology into our lives and even our bodies, we face a new frontier of ethical and safety concerns. Should we be opening up our minds, quite literally, to artificial intelligence? What potential risks could this pose to our privacy, to our autonomy, to our very sense of self? While Neuralink's approach requires invasive surgery, Drilling into the skull to place the implant, other companies are exploring less invasive alternatives. 
Synchron, for instance, is one such company that is investigating different methods for brain-computer interfaces. This could potentially offer a safer and more approachable avenue towards achieving the same goals. Despite the uncertainties, one thing is for sure. The potential benefits are tremendous. Imagine being able to control devices with your thoughts. To have a direct interface with artificial intelligence, the possibilities are virtually limitless. This could revolutionize not just the tech industry, but healthcare, education, entertainment, and many more sectors. As we stand on the precipice of this new era, one thing is clear. The future of human capabilities is bound to be extraordinary. As we conclude our journey into the world of Neuralink and brain-computer integration, let's revisit what we've learned. We've delved into the groundbreaking PRIME study, explored the intricacies of the Neuralink implant, and discussed the surrounding controversies and ethical concerns. This technology has the potential to redefine human capabilities, to merge our minds with machines, and to empower people with paralysis in unimaginable ways. Yet, it also presents us with unique challenges and ethical questions that we must navigate with care. Thank you for joining us on this fascinating exploration. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and click the notification button to stay updated on our latest content. Until next time, keep questioning the boundaries of human capabilities.